Matthew McConaughey is continuing his relief efforts after last week's horrific school shooting in his hometown of Uvalde, Texas, which left 19 students and two teachers dead. The interstellar actor and his wife, Camilla Alves McConaughey, have launched a Uvalde relief fund through their nonprofit, the Just Keep Living Foundation. The organization shared the news on Instagram on Thursday and revealed that 100% of donations to the fund will support grief counseling, burial costs, and quote, other immediate and long-term needs for the community. Their statement reads in part, Matthew and Camilla McConaughey have been on the ground in Uvalde for the last few days since the mass shooting. The loss is tragic. While the spirit of the community is in pain, the unanimous support of families to families and strangers to locals is beautiful. After the initial shock, the town has now begun the funerals and the grieving process, which will continue for the surviving children, families, and the entire community. The community will need ongoing grief counseling and support on the long road ahead of them. Please join us to help the people of Uvalde, Texas. McConaughey returned to his hometown last week. On Friday, he joined Congressman Tony Gonzalez at the city's Civic Center and met with grieving community members. Gonzalez tweeted gratitude for the actor's gesture and noted how much his heartfelt efforts were appreciated during such a devastating time. Writing, this week was a solemn reminder that evil exists in the world, but we will never let it break us. We'll unite to be an even more powerful reminder that love never fails and together we can change things. Appreciate Uvalde native Matthew McConaughey helping us heal. Hashtag Uvalde United. McConaughey first spoke out about the tragedy last week. He wrote in part in an impassioned Instagram post. Once again, we have tragically proven that we are failing to be responsible for the rights our freedoms grant us. The true call to action now is for every American to take a longer and deeper look in the mirror and ask ourselves, what is it that we truly value? How do we repair the problem? What small sacrifices can we individually take today to preserve a healthier and safer nation, state, and neighborhood tomorrow? We cannot exhale once again, make excuses, and accept these tragic realities as the status quo. He added in part, this is an epidemic we can control. And whichever side of the aisle we may stand on, we all know we can do better. We must do better. Action must be taken so that no parent has to experience what the parents in Uvalde and the others before them have endured.